In this tutorial, we're going to talk about scripting. You might notice when using the application that commands are being listed at the bottom right-hand corner of the app. You can also execute your own commands from the bottom left-hand corner of the app here. A full list of the FaceFX commands is available from the Console tab in the Command Sub sub-tab. The other area of the application that is relevant to scripting is this Quick Launch Command Toolbar up at the upper right-hand corner of the app. Each of these buttons, which can be accessed by clicking on them or by holding control and then hitting the number, one for this button, two, three, and so on, to get to zero. By right-clicking on one of these buttons and selecting properties, we see that each button can issue a single face effects command, also has a tool tip and an icon. This button, in turn, will ex call the exec, com the exec function to execute a Python file that will play the next anim, um, which is a way for us to quickly preview all the animations in an actor. Now to start looking at scripting, we're going to look at the autoexec.fxl file. This is a file that's executed every time FaceFX Studio opens. It's also a useful place for us to put samples and solve common problems, since it's executed every time FaceFX opens. So when we open this file, we'll see a few things. Uh, one is the set command being called to set the value of an internal variable. The gaudio system variable is used by FaceFX Studio to determine the sound system that it's going to use. You can create your own variable simply by calling the set command on a new variable name that FaceFX Studio isn't using, let's say my variable. And you can store a number or a string, which you can then call from other scripts to access using the get command. So that's one interesting aspect of FaceFX commands is the get and the set command. And the exec command that we've already talked about can be used to execute scripts. Here we're executing the analysis text preprocessor Python file. Now this is a very interesting script. Analysis text preprocessing is a feature that we've added to FaceFX Studio 2009 that allows us to change the text that's passed into FaceFX Studio, uh, which uses the text, the initial text as a variable and the language. So in this file we do things like replace common abbreviations. Uh, and this one lets us achieve better results because abbreviations uh, aren't always supported. And two, gets rid of periods, because in the next step we use periods, question marks, and exclamation points, along with regular expressions to determine uh, if the text file is a statement or a question or an exclamation or a combination of multiple ones. And we're going to set uh, events for statement beginning, question beginning, exclamation beginning, and statement end, question end, uh, and so on, every time we see one of those. Uh, you could, for example, use that, those events to then uh, raise the eyebrows for a question or maybe get angry for an exclamation. And finally in this script, we're doing something pretty interesting by replacing or adding a text event every time we see a negative word. Um, uh, aren't, can't, couldn't, no, not, none. Every time we see one of these words, we're going to add a text event that's going to shake the head no. Our, this is actually going to get taken care of in our analysis actor file, uh, which is going to have these uh, text events negative um, animations, which these events are going to fire. So that's a very basic introduction to scripting. We've seen how FXL files are executed automatically from FaceFX Studio and how they're used to call other uh, Python files.